Hey guys, it's Hailey. Today I'm going to talk about top 10 Korean skin products that I love. There are many different brands and many different products that I've been using, but these are the top 10 best of best, and these are the best not among Korean brands only, but also among international brands that I've used. And it's going to be a very long video because I'm an advocate for a lot of these products. And so I decided to split it into two parts, but it doesn't mean that the order that I show you is going to be by preference, but it's simply going to be by the steps of skincare. First and the most important part of skincare is cleansing off your skin. We say in Korea that cleansing makeup is a lot more important than putting on the makeup because it really decides how your skin is going to be affected. And so the first product I'm going to show you is the Apple Juicy Lip and Eye Remover by Innisfree. I really love it because first of all, it's very cheap. It's only $6 and second of all, it does the job so well. This probably is like my 10th. I've used other alternatives well, I think for the price point especially, this works the best. It allows you to remove your makeup without much effort. And this is really critical because eyes are very, very sensitive. So when you remove your makeup, it's important not to rub your eyes or tear anything apart in order to avoid any irritation and wrinkling. So the next step is probably the most important when it comes to cleansing routine. And the product that I'm going to talk about is Bad Skin's Milk Balm Eraser. This probably you haven't seen um, even among some of Korean beauty creators because this is relatively a very new product. I'm not really picky about cleansing foam. I've used different products, but I've always felt like they do the same thing for me. I never thought that one was better than the other. And so I've always just used whatever products that come along the way. The first time I used it, I fell in love with it right away. My skin felt never better and it was really smooth and it was very firm, I guess. It was very different from how I usually feel when I use cleansing foam. It just was a completely different game and every time I wash my face, I feel the effect. There are two ways of using it. One, make a lot of foam and then put it on your face to cleanse off. Another way is you can also use it as a mask. So what you do is you use sponge, make a lot of foam and then you put it on your skin as if the foam was a mask. Supposedly you leave it for like 5-10 minutes and then wash it off. It's going to be a very nice refreshing kind of mask for your skin. I think it will be good for any skin type. It will feel really fresh and really moisturized after washing. So now that you're done with cleansing, you can put on some masks that you wash off. So the product that I'm going to talk about is this Cal Leon's Wear Is Pore or Pore Original Pack. So this one is quite famous. I've actually come across it in some of Michelle Phan's favorites and been a sensation for a long time in Korea. And I really love it. Similar products you can find in Innisfree, the Jeju Volcanic uh, Pore Mask. And I really love that too, but I just feel like this does the job better. It cleanses your pores and leaves it a lot tighter and so I really really love this one. The next wash off mask I'm going to show you is for moisturizing and it's called Aqua Balm by Belief. I love this product because you feel the moisture and hydration in your skin right away. It's made out of hydrating herb and refreshing gel cream. The texture is very unique. It feels almost like exfoliator, except that when you put it on, it's very smooth. It just feels great. It feels like putting on aloe gel on your face, except that it feels better. And it's very soothing and literally cooling for your face. And after you wash it off, your skin feels really moisturized and I really love it. Next product I'm going to talk about is Misha's The First Treatment Essence. In Korea, we call this a cheaper version of SK2. The slogan when it came out was that you can get the same effect with less than half the price. And so I bought it and I really, really love it. I've never used SK2 because we all know it's very expensive. I was never able to afford it and probably not going to be able to afford it anytime soon. So I bought it and I don't know how good SK2 is, but this really does the work. When I use it, my skin just feels really nice, really rejuvenated and it's been a stable for me. What's great about it or unique about it is that it contains high portion of fermented yeast extract and that's the same ingredient that makes SK2's products very good. People say in Korea that product with yeast extract is only for some people because some people love it, some people 
they have irritation when they put it on but for me I really really love it I use it as toner just because it has this liquid formula but you can use it as essence also because it's supposedly essence <laughs> objectively speaking it's not that cheap because this itself is like $40 and I use it as toners but if you think about it as essence it's really not that expensive it's actually pretty cheap and so really really recommend this one so a lot of other brands came out with their own products with fermented yeast extract and the biggest next to Misha's is Tony Molly's Intense Care Galactomyces First Essence basically the same it claims that it has higher percentage of fermented yeast extract slightly more oily than Misha's um, and yet it feels very mattifying I just like Misha a little better because I feel like this has better texture and it just has slightly better effect both of them are really really great and seems like all the other products from other brands that came out with fermented yeast extract have really good reviews so if you're interested you can just go for any one of them alright so that was it for part 1 of top 10 Korean skincare products I hope you found it useful if you have any questions just comment down below I'll try to answer them as best as I can yeah i hope you can try out these products and really do feel the effects like i did so i will leave the links in the description box down below so you can check them out so if you have any questions just comment down below press thumbs up and share the love with your friends and i will see you soon bye